In 2 Timothy 4, 6, Paul said he was already being poured out a drink offering. The comment I would like to make is that Paul was all in. He was totally dedicated. He was in there till death does he, you know, takes over. He, he's going to stay to the bitter end. And that, that's awesome because to live life, you have to be all in. The problem is too many people are just dabbling with life. They're dabbling with their marriage. They're dabbling with their career. They're just dabbling in everything. And they're certainly just dabbling in Christianity. They hadn't jumped in and really embraced all that the spiritual life has to offer. They're kind of like the kids sitting on the edge of the swimming pool kind of dangling their toes in the water. You know how it goes, but they're afraid to jump in. And life is always kind of mediocre, lukewarm, because you can't live life sitting on the sidelines. Now, I agree there's a lot of stuff to learn, and I understand that, that it can be scary. It can be very uncomfortable at times to, to move yourself into new territory. But what we have to accept is that's just part of the process. Remember the first time you started driving a car? How nervous you were, how excited you might have been also, but you were nervous. There's no question about it. That was a big move in life. And yet today, most folks drive and never give it a second thought. We got really comfortable with it. Now, if we were to take ourselves out of the regular passenger car and put ourselves into a NASCAR, and try to drive 150 mile an hour around the track, we'd be all nervous again until we did it long enough to get comfortable. What I'm trying to say is being uncomfortable and nervous and awkward is just part of the learning process. And if a person has just been dabbling in life, then they're going to have to get over that and learn to be uncomfortable and awkward and, and go through all those negative emotions until they learn to master life. You have to be all in. And if you're not all in, it's always going to be awkward, uncomfortable. You know, someone said you don't have to be great to get started, but you do have to get started to be great. And I think that is an awesome piece of advice. So you're going to learn as you go, or you have this other option. You can sit on the sidelines. You can sit on the sidelines and be timid all your life if you want. But God didn't say that the lukewarm, which I'm equating with timid, would enter the kingdom of heaven, but that the lukewarm would be spewed out. What I want to tell you to do is go for life with all you've got. All right, you want to have a great marriage? Then you've got to pour yourself into that marriage. And there's a lot to that. We couldn't cover that in a little video, but it's a lot to it. But it is possible. It is extremely doable to people who will pour themselves into it. You want to have a great career? absolutely possible, but you've got to pour yourself into it. You can't sit on the sidelines and think some magic fairy is going to bring it to you. You have to go for it. So a great life is doable if you'll get in there and be like Paul. I'm poured out a drink offering. I'm going to be faithful to death. I'm in this thing to the bitter end. If you can put your heart into it like that and pour yourself out into it, you're going to get near the end of life and you're going to look back and you're going to go, that was good. I'd like to do that one again. That was fun. Now, what better place to be at the end of life than that place that says, wow, that was good. Some stuff to think about. Give it some thought. And as always, have a great day.